Our next witness is Ms. Jean Watovich. Uh, she's the chair of the board of directors of the National Association of Development Companies. She's also founder of Cambridge Capital Management Corporation and manager of non-traditional sources of capital for businesses in Indianapolis, Indiana. The National Association of Development Companies provides legislative and regulatory support for its members. Welcome. Thank you. I'm so pleased to be here. And I would like to thank the entire committee uh, for their continued support of the CDC industry and the 504 loan program. First, I'd like to discuss the need to reduce the cost of this program. SBA has informed us that its 2010 budget increases the cost of 504 loans by 38.9 basis points per annum. And this is due to at least two factors in the SBA's econometric subsidy model, the national unemployment rate and the forecast of the 504 default rate. With both of these factors being impacted by the current recession and their real effect expected to be short-lived, we ask the committee to consider requesting an appropriation sufficient to offset this fee increase for the next two years as small businesses return to a growth mode and improve their cash flow. This request needs immediate attention in order to negate the impact of this fee increase on our borrowers for fiscal 2010. It is inconsistent in this economy to offer small businesses fee relief through the stimulus bill in February of 2009 and turn around and increase their cost of borrowing in October of that same year. Second, we need to reach out to more small businesses. Our industry thanks the small business committees for their leadership role in adding key programs to the stimulus bill earlier this year that are beginning to impact capital access and job creation. However, we believe that more should be done quickly to have added impact. Even as SBA works to implement new programs and fee reductions created in the stimulus bill, the loan eligibility and underwriting criteria to maximize the effectiveness of these programs are drifting toward more conservative and restrictive interpretations. For example, SBA has moved to restrict borrowers from accessing their personal home equity in order to inject these funds into 504 expansion projects. NADCO has prevailed upon the agency to reconsider this policy while they collect additional data. We're hopeful that when SBA completes this analysis, they will again allow business owners to inject capital in any way possible. We believe that many small businesses either need access to larger loan amounts or have already reached their maximum availability under current law. This can be addressed in three ways. First, increase the maximum 504 debenture beyond its current limit of $1.5 million. Second, allow a borrower to maximize use of both 504 and 7A loan limits. And third, eliminate the regulation that restricts business owners with higher net worth and liquidity from accessing these loans. Next, I'd like to emphasize the need to reduce loan losses with more effort devoted to loan liquidation and recoveries. At Congress's direction several years ago, SBA created a new regulation that enabled it to take advantage of the recovery expertise within the CDC industry. Many CDCs already perform such tasks for other loan programs that they administer. They have simply not been given the ability and the freedom by SBA to do this on a broad scale for their 504 loans. NADCO believes that losses can be reduced if CDCs are actively engaged in the loan recovery process. This will require cooperation with, rather than dictation from, SBA liquidation staff. Further, NADCO proposes that SBA use its loan servicing contractor to speed up collection and payments for defaulted loans, and we ask that this accounting information be made available to CDCs to assist them in their recovery efforts. Can you imagine trying to collect a loan without being able to tell the borrower what the balance is? Or in today's electronic age, not being able to have a borrower wire a payment or, or send an ACH payment on a defaulted loan? The SBA loan programs are over 20 years old, and an environment of restrictive and overbearing regulations has evolved within the agency. With this new administration and fresh thinking from senior policymakers, NADCO sees an opportunity to break out of the old program structure and bureaucracy. 
we see the chance to work with this new leadership team and with the new Congress to expand program benefits to more borrowers. Like any maturing organization, SBA has to reevaluate its products to serve the changing needs of small businesses. NADCO urges Congress to collaborate with the new SBA management and with far-sighted market-driven lenders to create the financing and economic development programs so vital to America's future. Nimble and forward-thinking small businesses will lead us out of this recession. Let's help them do it sooner. Working together, we can get America working. Thank you.